If you are interested in starting your own podcast, we use Buzzsprout because it is simple and easy to use. Buzzsprout can get your show listed on every major platform while giving you the resources for a great podcast website, audio players that can drop into other websites, detailed analytics to see how people are listening to your podcast, and tools to promote your episodes. Podcasting isn't hard when you have the right partners, and that is why over 100,000 podcasters are already subscribed to Buzzsprout to get their message out to the world. Following the link in our episode descriptions, let's Buzzsprout know that we sent you. So in return, you will receive a $20 Amazon gift card from Buzzsprout while signing up for a paid plan. Most importantly, every subscription through our link is always appreciated and helps support our show so we can continue delivering the quality content that you guys listen to. That being said, back to the show. Hello, and welcome to Comic Book Junkies. I'm Andrew. This is Joe. And this time we're coming at you with something a little bit different, casting. So, I mean, a lot of people, I mean, you're out there, you probably have them yourself, a lot of fan casts. Joe's wife actually inspired this, so shouts out. But uh, yeah, we're going to take our own shot. Joe's our resident cinephile, in case you didn't know. So, you know, big movie buff over there. Me, I like to go see a blockbuster flick here and there, but I'm not really as well versed in all things cinema. So, you know, I'll give it a shot. (laughs) But you know what? Before we get into it, uh, we got a few things we want to cover and then, you know, just chop it up. How you doing, Joe? I know we made some pickups. How you doing today? Like, what's what's good, man? Work was decent today. I've been excited to kind of add to the last episode because in that episode, we talk about like our best pickups and our goals. But when we record that, the year is technically not over. So uh, we still have time to do some damage. And uh, we did exactly that. So first, I want to say that I mentioned going to the Iron Claw movie, best freaking movie ever. So if you uh, get the chance <laughs> to go watch that, definitely bring your tissues. But it's it's a great movie. Thanks. So I want to say that was good. And then I don't know why I didn't think of it, but didn't that Spider Verse movie come out the second one last year? That was decent too. So that wraps up like that portion of things. And I, I didn't do any digging to see if I forgot about any books, but there's a book that's on its way now. I'll be getting it in 2024, but I technically ordered it in 2023. So you guys tell me if it deserves to be on the 23 list or the 24 list. But I was hanging out with uh, Burger. We're getting into a little bit of trouble at the comic book stores. And then I got into some bigger trouble on eBay and finally got the courage to bid and win on a uh, Detective 298. So first clay face that we know. So uh, super excited about that book. It was one of my goals for 2024, crossing that one off the list early. Hell yeah. Yeah, I was there as he bid on it. We were actually co-conspiring because he had done some damage at the comic book stores uh, prior to that. He wasn't sure if he should really even bid. But alas, you know, reason. He says, (laughs) if it's there, I must try. (laughs) So yeah, he ended up winning. I ended up just being like, yeah, that's yours, bro. I ain't going to bid on it. Uh, Because obviously one of us has to win it. And like, I don't know if y'all out there are bidding on the same listings as us, but we can't let you have it if one of us can have it. That's just the way the cookie crumbles. But Joe won it. And similar to him, I talked about one of my 2024 goals being the first appearance of Yu Yu Hakusho in Weekly Shonen Jump. And uh, much like Joe, I ordered that back in 2023 as well. already have it in hand. So I already knocked off the top of my list for this year. And I actually have a really cool pickup to start 2024 that I just locked in. I guess I'll let you guys know now since I'll have it in hand by the time you hear this anyways. But Wonder Woman issue 98 uh, from 1958. Some may say the first Silver Age appearance of the what the Earth One Wonder Woman. It's also a few other changes begins like a three part story where her origins revised. And uh, I mean, I think even Hippolyta changes her hair color and stuff it's like the ross andrew and everybody else taking over robert knier if i'm saying that correctly uh starting the run so you know it's basically the first big change in her creative team for the silver age and you know some revisions that we're all familiar with um so i'm very excited to get that in hand won that on auction as well got into a little bit of trouble but not too bad actually so yeah I also, I uh, I co-sign on Iron Claw. Jazz and I went to go see it too. I was a big, I, I was the wrestling buff of the two of us. So I definitely appreciated that movie. Very, very good. Would recommend it if you haven't already seen it. But Heck that yeah. said, you want to get into the meat and potatoes, our casting? Yes, I do. So good shout out. 
uh, something my wife thought about because I was just like, you know who would play a great Green Lantern? And I was talking about it with such passion. And she's just like, oh, if you're going to be that much of a nerd about it, you might as well have an episode. And I'm just like, you know what? You're right. You're absolutely right. My word's not hers. But anyways, we're here. Hmm. So I made a cast for the Justice League and the Avengers. And I really wish I would have had a little more time to really think about who I wanted. So none of this is like absolute or concrete. But some oh, ideas that I think might go over well. Uh, so let's start with Same. the Justice League. Do we want to go one for one or are you going to give your whole listing? Uh, let's go one for one. Oh, perfect. Do you want to start or do you want me to start? I'd rather you start. Okay. Well, there's no better this is my place Achilles heel. to start than Superman if we're talking the Justice League. And this is another one where I'm not like this has to happen but i have a few ideas that could work so the first thing that came to mind for me was john ham from Mad Men. interesting yeah i don't know if it's just because he played in like an era that was so like old-fashioned and old school but i've always seen superman as like this like uh Kind of like what you think of like men in the 50s or something like that. Maybe not so calloused as him because I think John Hamm's meant to play like uh, some more rough or more stern characters because Batman. uh, I thought about that, too. That that's a that's what I had had. But that was the first thing that came to mind after I thought about it a little bit. I'm still comfortable locking in John Hamm. But if the guy could get the size for it. I guess let me preface with this, too. I really liked seeing Tom Welling as Clark Kent. Would have loved to see him play Superman. And even though I'm not upset with Henry Cavill leaving, I thought that was a great cast for Superman. So no issues there. Even as well as uh, the guy that they just cast for Superman. I like the casting. So no issues. But the guy that played Elvis in the Elvis movie, Austin Butler, I really liked what he brought to Elvis the character itself even though the movie wasn't that good I think he's a good enough actor where he could have uh, played a decent Superman as well but how about you Berger you see I have like two lists because I don't really know I'm kind of leaning towards just being a bit more goofy because I I really don't know what to do for any of these I don't really know I don't keep up with actors and I don't know any not superstar actors so probably not going to go over well um i put matt bomer so i think he he was uh the negative man in doom patrol i don't know i mean i'm basically just looking at the character and being like yeah he kind of looks like he could pass for a superman i mean his acting in there was pretty solid yeah i mean so i mean i don't really have too much to really elaborate on that because like honestly like you said like i mean who people we've already seen are good for the most part and i don't really know like the dude who's gonna play superman like sure why not you know so like i don't i don't know who could like come to be superman that i like is a familiar face i guess because sometimes like the actor is the actor and not the character and it's just like we'll go with him sure but do you have john ham as your batman yeah on my serious list i had john ham as batman on my more fun list i had vin diesel if he had hair because (laughs) (laughs) what (laughs) yeah because uh one he's jacked Two, he loves family, and Batman kind of makes his own family, so I feel like there's nice crossover there. And I think it would also just be hilarious because of his voice, like how distinguishable he would be being Bruce Wayne, but then also being Batman with the, oh, talking about family. Like, yeah, it'd be sweet. <laughs> Maybe like Bat Nipples Batman, but... I- no. No? No, hardcore Batman. Interesting. But also, I want them to, like, give him hair. Like, if he's bald, I won't have it. But if they give him hair, I'd love it. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Well, I thought John Hamm could play Batman as well. But because I already put that as Superman, I thought Jake Gyllenhaal could play Batman. Because, like, if you saw him in Nightcrawler, he's kind of a weird feller. And even though Bruce Wayne is, like, the playboy billionaire... I mean, just his parents getting murdered in front of him and just like him always hanging out in a cave. Like, you got to be kind of weird. You know what I mean? So I feel like you kind of got to get a weird guy to do it. And he's been enough like boxing movies and stuff like that where he's gotten big for roles. So I could see him doing a good job. Now, I really like 
Robert Pattinson as Batman. I just wish the movie was a bit better. But if you would have cut him loose and just let him do his thing, I, I I don't think that's a bad casting either. Why don't we put Zac Efron as Batman? Maybe Plastic Man. Nah. nah. <laughs> Real ones, no. <laughs> Damn. Damn. Nice. How about your Wonder Woman? Oh, okay. So my funny one would be Kim Kardashian. But my oh, serious I'm... one would be, uh, who is that lady from uh, True Detective? That first season oh, with Alexandra the big eyes? Daddario? Yes. I, I, I chose it. her as well for my serious choice. Did you have Kim Kardashian as your fun choice? No, my fun choice is actually Kendall Jenner because I ah, showed you that... Oh, that, that would have, yes. The I mean, it was just like a Halloween, like 10 second video, but it was like nailed. Now, I, I don't know if she can act. Probably not. Do yourselves a favor and Google Kendall Jenner Wonder Woman. Yeah, it's like surprisingly good. Yeah. She even does a little spin around like uh, Linda Carter and everything is sick. Yeah, yeah. So one of the Kardashians is a fun choice. And then we got uh, <laughs> <laughs> Alexandra as our real choice. So I guess going on to the next one, maybe the flash. Uh, oh, okay. I, uh, I will not take any other actor as an answer. It's Ryan Gosling. Okay. Mine too. Right. Okay. We're starting, we're starting to get in lockstep here. He's born to play that role. It would be cool. Somebody listen to this. He is born to play that role. It would work. He looks like the role. He could act like the role. If you look like the role and you act like the role, then give him a role. I mean, I don't even know what else to really say on that. I mean, like every like he's good in like most movies he's in. And I feel like he's got the right. He's got the vibe for it, especially if I mean, it can't get worse than what we have. So, yeah, you know what I, I mean? And like seeing him in drive and stuff like that, like, I don't he know. He likes going fast. He likes going fast. Get yeah, him place the beyond the pines. Dudes on motorcycles. He likes going yep. fast. Yep. There you go. DNA. <laughs> But speaking of which, we'll go to Green Lantern. And this oh, is what perfect. started the whole entire thing. And unfortunately, I have to switch up my answer because I just when we get to the Avengers, I'll explain a little more. But uh, the whole reason we're doing this topic is because I thought Tom Cruise would make an amazing Green Lantern, you know, between him being like a pilot and all those Top Gun movies and stuff like that. Just to, I just can see him playing like this tough cop. Who uh who's also a good guy too, you know. Um and a Scientologist. Yes, but unfortunately, uh he he's just, already familiar with aliens. Yes, he is. And I <laughs> I just had a really hard time with one of the Avengers, and I figured that he would make a better character there. So uh wow. at the very last minute, because I didn't want to double dip on Tom Cruise, I picked Bradley Cooper. Oh, Green Lantern. Cool. I think Tom Cruise would be better, but just because there's nobody else I could see playing this character in the Avengers that I saved Tom Cruise for. I had to go with my my second answer, which would have been Bradley Cooper. Gotcha. I'm going to go with Mark Wahlberg because mm -hmm. he's already basically a cop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see that. And he's Jack. I mean, that was supposed to be my silly answer. But at the same time, it feels the most fun. So at that point, give me Mark Wahlberg. Because, I mean, shoot, like half the movies he's in, he's like playing a cop. So why not just be a space cop? I mean... He's, he can just play a, a Boston guy. <laughs> <laughs> Green Lantern with a Boston accent. That's what he does. Okay. If we do it, there'll be a scene where he's doing like shirtless, like sit ups for no reason. And then he'll have like a family that he doesn't get along with. And then he'll go beat up somebody. It'll be a Mark Wahlberg movie. I almost see him more as a guy gardener. Interesting. Uh, I mean, personality wise, maybe. I wasn't really thinking very hard. I did have a John Stewart as Idris Elba, though. I like that. Yeah, because I, I, like I mean that. that would be tight. Uh, but a lot of these guys are getting a little older, so I mean, if we're talking about like practicality and like having a long going, you know, ongoing universe, maybe it's not the best choice. But you know, let's just say ideal castings for at least a standalone. Sure. Um, and like I said, half of these are probably off my silly list, but I'm not really selling the bit right now. So because my real list is like so. I don't know. I'm I'm picking and choosing between my real answers and my not real answers. So we're just going to have fun with it. OK, who do All we right. have left? Aquaman? Just Aquaman. I have cool. like another definitive answer for this one, but you can go first. Oh, Matthew McConaughey. Interesting. I actually saved him for my Avengers list. 
Oh, you'll love my Avengers. Well, you won't love my Avengers list. You're going to say that I'm bastardizing the show. But Matthew McConaughey, I figure one, because it'd be funny. Two, because I love True Detective season one, and I'd like to fit him in here somewhere. And three, you know, Aquaman kind of is the outsider of the bunch. And I can just imagine Matthew McConaughey sitting underneath the ocean, talking to his fish, saying like weird one liners and like <laughs> existential stuff to like the fish and his like people. And then like, when he unites with like the rest of the squad, they're kind of like, what's up with him? But like, they're lucky to have, they're like ha glad to have him, you know, like, <laughs> because he's, he's probably like down there. He's like, yeah, you know what? Like, you think he could rule real, Atlantis though? <laughs> he'd probably rule Atlanta. I mean, <laughs> he'd rule Atlanta and Atlantis. Yeah. He'd be sweet. He'd say so much confusing shit to him. They'd like, wouldn't have time to like, really. Oh no, man. He's, he's so skinny. He'd be talking Texas to you know, black mana, and it would just throw everybody off. It'd be like King of the Hill met Aquaman. He'd beat his ass, bro. What? You're talking about Tom Cruise is like five six. Whose ass is he beating? He's got a ring. Matthew Aquaman is okay. Big as hell. And Matthew, yeah, and he lives underneath the ocean. Who's to say Matthew McConaughey can't bulk for the role, dipshit? <laughs> so, <laughs> so Tom HIV, Cruise, uh, somebody with HIV. You're telling me this man can bulk? What HIV in Dale's Buyers Club? That's Dude, a different movie. Like 100 pounds. Okay, so your reasoning for Tom Cruise is that he has a ring, even though he's five six. But then you're comparing Matthew McConaughey to a movie where he has HIV as the reason why he can't bulk up. This is stupid as hell. Who's yours? <laughs> uh, I got Glenn Powell. That's actually who my real answer was, but I like this better. Oh, no way. Glenn Powell was my Hal Jordan. Oh, that could make sense too. Yeah. I had Alexander Ludwig as my Aquaman, which I don't know much about him, but he looks like an Aquaman type. So, I mean, if you need a minute to pull that up as a visual reference, I think honestly his like most notable stuff that is like Hunger Games, like probably fucking 10 years ago. But this guy looks like an Aquaman type down to the hair. Body Alexander style. Ludwig. Oh, OK, I could see that because some That's pictures he kind of looks more like a green arrow and others. He looks more like an Aquaman. Green Arrow would be Charlie Hunnam from what is that? Sons of Anarchy. Yes. yes. That would be the choice. Missed my Justice League, but I figured you could definitely put that dude in a superhero movie. Ooh, off topic too, because he's not in our Justice League, but I've maintained this the whole time. For Shazam, Patrick Warburton. Uh, give me you know who second. I'm talking about. It's the dude with the uh, the iconic voice. He was Patrick the tick, who? wasn't he? Warburton. Is he? He was the tick. Shazam. Oh, 100%. Hunted P. God, if they wanted to do things right and course correct, where yeah, he's not he a man detect. child. Yeah, because that's what I'm saying. He was, uh, wasn't he? Didn't he voice, uh, Kronk in the Emperor's New Groove? You know what? I think he did. Yeah, he fucking rules. I mean, that guy can do no wrong. So put him in as Shazam and it would be perfect. That would Even be though awesome. he's older now, he looks like the Alex Ross version. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. He does look like the Alex Ross version. Yeah, get him on there. I don't care what it costs. Like, do Shazam right and you'll do it with him. That is cool. I like that. Not a part of the Justice League, but a great answer. Thank you. Because half my answers do suck. I'm not going to I'm not going to lie. But like those two that weren't on like our actual. Did you list not here. like Tom Cruise as Green Lantern? No, Tom Cruise would be fine. I was just saying Tom Cruise now is Green Lantern. Eh. Tom Cruise in his prime Green Lantern. Yeah. But yeah. I mean, also, yeah, yeah. but you know what I mean? But no, Bear I, with I, me, because, yeah, some of these guys are old. So it'd have to be like either at a certain time in their career or like some kind of solo movie, uh, to your point. That's the case. I would have put like Arnold Schwarzenegger on here for like whatever. <laughs> for anything. <laughs> no, he yeah, can't I mean, that's, anything. That's kind of how the Avengers list is, so. Oh, man. Okay, well, let's get into it. <laughs> yeah, you can start. <laughs> okay. Well, I'll start with the captain. Thought long and hard about this. When I think of America, I think of Brad Pitt. Oh, okay. So, okay. I'm just going to start assuming we're talking and, like prime versions. Yeah, I am talking prime Brad Pitt. But to be honest with you, old Brad Pitt could probably play that old cat in America that gives up his title to whoever, whether it's Bucky or Falcon or who cares. The but, one who looked like Joe Biden in Endgame. Yeah, he could play that one. He could, <laughs> cool. He, yeah, just give me Brad Pitt as Captain America in some capacity. Okay, now for like basically the same reason when I think of America and like what's awesome, I think of John Cena because John Cena played a Marine and John Cena also played Peacemaker, which is arguably as patriotic as Captain America in any of the Marvel movies. So you know what? He's so nice. He could do it twice. Give me John Cena as the real Captain America because one, he's already built for it. 
and two i don't know he is half bald half the time with just like a flat top just give it a little bit of a blonde tint he doesn't gotta be as comedic john cena's the man but if you wanted like a more well john cena's fairly realistic but i also uh what's that dude alan richson that brick yeah, he shit house aquaman actually in smallville yeah, and he plays Reacher now or something, and uh, I think he was fucking Hawk, even though Hawk and Dove suck in uh, that Titan show, but that guy's like beef tenderloin and kind of exemplifies what Captain America should be about. I think he was in, uh, wasn't he in Friday Night Lights, or am I thinking of like a different show? Who was in Friday Night Lights? Because he was Night? in so Alan Richson, or was he in like that, was it Blue Mountain mm, It was Blue Mountain no, State, no. never mind. I started oh. to get, Speaking I of just which, corrected. I don't know if I ever mentioned that show, but it's amazing. I know that Friday Night That's, Lights. Yeah, I haven't watched it, but you've told me. Uh, yeah. So I don't know if I watched That's that 2020 Blue Mountain or State, what, but good show. Oh, okay. Oh. Who, do you, okay. who do you got next? Okay. So yeah, this all started with me thinking Tom Cruise would make a great Green Lantern, but honestly, if I had to make him play Green Lantern or Iron Man, I'd uh, okay. the role for Iron Man. I My Iron Man it. is nothing like yours. Because I could just see him playing like a rich guy. Mm-hmm. He's kind of short, maybe an alcoholic. Yeah. Uh, could belong to a secret society, Illuminati. I don't know. Could be cool. I like mine. Makes a lot of sense. My guy, he's played a rich guy before. Did very well at it. He's going to bring a little bit more uh, jovial energy to it a little bit, but he's a good dramatic actor, as we've seen in recent years. Um, I'm going to go with Adam Sandler because... That would be so much more fun than what we... Are you kidding me? Are... No. <laughs> <laughs> what the No. Fuck? Have you ever Should seen Mr. Bean? Should it be Mr. like the Bean? military where you have to do a certain amount of push-ups to like see some combat? Since when was Iron Man in the military? I'm just saying like, no, like exercise. Yeah, Adam Sandler plays pickup basketball all the time. You, you think He's that dumb. makes him athletic enough to play? Athletic Iron? enough to get in a fucking iron suit and fly around, yeah. It's like oh the God. fucking laziest superhero you could be. <laughs> it's the laziest superhero you... you could be. Uh, yeah, dude, it's fucking VR. It's like you just put a headset on and you fly around in a tin can like a dipshit. I'm pretty sure he okay, can handle that. Okay, so not, not saying Adam Sandler's a fat guy, but you would be okay with a fat guy playing Iron Man? No, because well, we're not talking about a fat guy playing Iron Man. So I don't. why would that matter if I wanted a fat guy to play Iron Man? Like, do I want 2011 Jonah Hill to play what? Iron Man? That would also be hilarious. Okay. Chris Farley, John Candy. No way. I'll take any of them, dude. I'm just rooting for what's fun at this point. Like I told you, I don't keep up with all these like up and coming actors. And like these movies have gotten so stale for me. I would much rather watch the Avengers with John Cena and Adam Sandler teaming up <laughs> as the first two members. Tell me you wouldn't line up to go see that. It'd be like if. Tropic Thunder met like a superhero. That sounds fantastic. That sounds better than what we've been getting. Okay. And guess what? Everybody else's current contracts up. I love <laughs> Tropic sure Thunder. This... Don't get me wrong. <laughs> I just I don't want. Them. Well, wait till you get a load of my choice for the Hulk. Let's just hear it. Peter Dinklage. No fucking way. Why not? Very smart. Very capable genius he'd be like a very good especially when you think of the science bros peter dinklage and adam sandler would have great chemistry there is a question about whether he maintains his size or he does sprout larger i haven't fully fleshed that out yet you can go either way um I'm crying but <laughs> i thought that that would be a good one so uh who do you got peter dinklage is the Hulk. it's symbolic <laughs> It's the heart of the team, bro. You don't want to piss him off. And think about how easy it'd be to piss him off. Like, what kind of comments you'd have to make? And then he'd be like, (laughs) Okay. Well, uh, I I thought about Jeff Goldblum as, uh, like, young Jeff Goldblum. Oh, wow. uh, I want to be the Hulk. You better not make me angry. Well, he turns into a fly. I feel like he could turn into the Hulk. Oh, you're going to piss me off. You're not going to like me when I'm angry. Uh, wow. But but somebody you mentioned earlier, I thought Matthew McConaughey could have played the role too, because he gives me a little bit of Edward mm-hmm. Norton vibes. Somebody who could like struggle yeah. with, like a uh, a second personality. Yeah, cool. Tell me your Thor. That one was tough because you gotta think like some big no. Nordic motherfucker. Yeah, uh, super easy. Yeah, so I don't know. I mean, like you could throw in like Channing Tatum if you want. 
Uh, the Rock. That's kind of no, dude. That's that my that, silly that answer. Could, that could work, but you know, somebody you actually mentioned earlier, they would have to be able to put the size on for it. But that Charlie uh, Hunman guy Bonham. from yeah, from uh, Sons of Anarchy. I think if he got big enough, he could play a role like that. Yeah, my my thought was the Rock to be goofy, um, because it'd be funny hearing him speak like Asgardian because he just plays himself every time, and also him having long blonde hair when he's bald. But for my real answer, I picked Alexander Skarsgård. He was uh, what the hell was that movie name? I fucked with it heavy. He is a big Nordic motherfucker, and he is blonde, and he looks more Thor than anybody they've cast to be Thor. It was that uh Viking movie I saw just a couple years ago wasn't it what the hell was it called it was a 24 movie i'm pretty sure hold please gotta figure this out real quick Uh oh it's taking too long the northman that movie ruled and uh perfect encapsulation of what a viking can and should be and that's basically what thor is going to be at this point so him for sure um he, granted he's getting a little bit older but for sure oh um, yeah that makes a lot of sense yeah you look at him in the northman and have you seen that movie no but I, i'm googling it right now and i i, I think see what you get in it i think you'd like it as someone who likes movies more than i do i would recommend you actually watch that but let's get on to black widow real quick i was thinking well i don't really have a too funny an answer for let, this let so me I'm say just picking... this though real quick that chris hemsworth is a great cast for that role yeah yeah, yeah i just no wish the direction was that. better yeah me too but on the black not his widow. fault i picked aubrey plaza or anna de armas or whatever because i'm just trying to pick i don't know i don't know how else to really Unless I pick an actual Russian chick. So I'm just picking chicks. Yeah, you know, I really struggled to find one out of Scarlett Johansson. Yeah, you love Scarlett Johansson. What about the chick from (laughs) AT&T? As Black (laughs) Widow? I mean, (laughs) whoa. Uh, I mean, that'd be spicy. Okay. (laughs) But uh, I don't know. Actual Black Widow? I don't know. I I didn't have an answer. I'm just going to... Wrong. Anna de Armas, just go, go with that. Yeah, that's fine. I thought about her for Wonder Woman too, but then I backed out and did the other uh, chick. I think she'd play a better Black Widow. I agree. That's why I ultimately went with that for my real answer. Now, here's the last one that's the most fun. Hawkeye, to wrap her all up. Who's your Hawkeye? You know, I struggled with this one too, but I think I landed on Jensen Ackles. Mm-hmm. He, I always see him rumored to play like Bruce Wayne or Batman, but I don't think he's good enough. So give him something smaller like Hawkeye and I'm in. Cool. I went with Will Ferrell because Hawkeye sucks. <laughs> Will Ferrell doesn't suck. No, I know. He would That's make it better. That's an insult to Will Ferrell. No, it's a compliment to Will Ferrell because I would want him to make the character not suck because it would be hilarious <laughs> watching him pull out all kinds of arrows and saying stupid shit the whole time. <laughs> Even when he's young, I feel like he's too old to play Hawkeye. I agree with you completely, but... Like, he could be Will Ferrell in his 20s, and he's still too old. Yeah. Well, before I settled on Peter Dinklage, I was going to have John C. Riley be the Hulk. Oh, my God. I thought you were about to say Peter Dinklage is Hawkeye, too. <laughs> that would have been cool, but <laughs> no, I didn't go that far. As my non-Will Ferrell answer, I went with James Marsden because he was, what, Cyclops in the original X-Men films? And that guy's solid. Better than he gets credit for. And I don't know who else to fucking cast as Hawkeye, man. Like, it's just a dude with a bow and arrow. Who cares? Yeah, it's hard to care about Hawkeye. Anybody who's blonde and has a bow and arrow can be him. I mean, even though you could say that for Green Arrow, it's different. There's like the goatee and like the somehow more rugged even. Like Hawkeye just seems like, I don't know. Yeah. Do do you think that like maybe Joseph Gordon love it? That would make sense, but the time has came and passed where I would have preferred him as like a Nightwing. Yeah, I hear you. Speaking of which, that Timothy Chalamet or whatever would play a great Robin. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. He's, he's already, so he'd be Timothy Drake. Yeah. <laughs> How perfect is that? Yeah, it would be perfect. Well, fantastic. Yeah. That's but, the uh, best way we could wrap the episode. Huh? Hey, but last thing, last thing. I, I really yeah. struggled because I wanted to put Tom Hardy somewhere, but I, I couldn't quite figure that out. Modoc. Modoc? <laughs> I don't know. Not Peter Dinklage. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. No, then who's going to play the Hulk? 
<laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> Does it make sense? You're an All idiot. Right. I'm done. <laughs> All right, cool. And with that, guys, that's our fan casting and a little bit of a recap to the start of our 2024. If you're new here, welcome. If you're not, thanks for sticking with us. Need to know basis? CBJ Pod on Instagram, main hub to hit us up, main place you're going to see things and hear announcements. Other than that, I mean, if you'd like to, rate, subscribe, review, you know, the typical crap that everyone who makes any type of content asks for it does help us but i'm not gonna beg peter dinklage hulk would smash me before i beg but uh (laughs) but that being said we appreciate you all for listening through 2023 rocking with us through 2024 and we'll have a nice spicy one for you next time and we'll catch you later all right appreciate you guys surviving this episode we'll uh you'll hear from us soon peace